How do you get through your day? Make it from one place to another, one task to the next. How do you do it? Every step of the way in life, there have been people that said that I can't do things, said that I couldn't ride a bicycle. There have been people that said that I couldn't live on my own, couldn't get a good job and support myself, or I couldn't go to college and graduate. I don't listen too much to people when they tell me I can't do something. There's not a whole lot that's going to stand in my way. There were a lot of people that when I first started at Hendrick Motorsports, they had no idea what I could do and what I was going to do there. I have some guys that I'm good friends with now, and they told me that when they heard I was coming and when I first got there, their biggest thing was, well, what is he going to do? Hendrick Motorsports is the most winning organization in NASCAR. From Jimmy Johnson to Jeff Gordon to Dale Earnhardt Jr., for any engineer drawn to racing, it's the elite destination. We need to add a little clearance there for Will. All right. For Richie Parker, it's been the job for the last eight years. As a vehicle engineer at Hendrick, Parker designs chassis and body components for all four of its race teams and does all his design work the way he does most everything, with his feet. It's very demanding. When we have somebody like Chad Knauss that comes back from the racetrack and he says he needs something next week that's going to help him win a race, then no is, is never the answer. Richie Parker was born in May 1983 in the coastal town of Buford, South Carolina. Right away, his parents knew something was wrong. He said that that was a little issue, a complication that uh, with the baby, and I said, what? And, and naturally, we had, I think he moved me a little to the side and said the baby w did not have arms. And I just was sort of dumbfounded, like, what do you mean? Doctors told the Parkers the abnormality was the result of a non-genetic birth defect, creating bilateral amelia a limb deficiency. I'm thinking, how are we going to get through this? How would he eat? How would he open doors? How would he do just the normal day-to-day -day things? Once I saw Richie, it was no question after that. He was the cutest baby. You know, he, he was the cutest little boy. After about five minutes, it was, when can I take my kid home? Just give him a kid. We wanted his childhood to be as close to any other child's childhood as possible. That's always been our attitude. We are going to make it work. We might just do it differently, but it will work. We put this on the door, and I can grab onto it like this with my shoulder and pull it out. There were always things around the house that made it so that I didn't need to ask somebody else for help to do it. And that was, that was always important to me. I had two parents that from day one tried to make it so that my life was, I guess you could say, as normal as possible, whatever normal is. This came off a larger bike, somewhat like a beach cruiser. The other kids in the neighborhood had a bike. Well, Rich is going to ride a bike. And we understood some of the dangers. We got long handlebars and bent it up and then bent it out and we welded a bar across from one handlebar to the other. And after that, he rode the bike with us kids and they would. And he was just a kid riding his bike. As a teenager, Richie's sense of independence found its sharpest focus in cars. I always wanted to drive. I was told by a few different people, well, if there's a bus in your area or if there are taxi cabs, then that's all you need to do. You should use that as your transportation. But that just, that, that just wasn't me. 
When he was 15, Richie spotted his dream car. The 1964 Chevy Impala SS. The Parkers convinced the owner to sell it. 15 years later, it's still Richie's ride. If the bicycle gave him a certain degree of freedom, the car, I think, gave him a great amount of independence and pride. When he's in that car, everybody's on the same level. In truth, Richie's entire life has been one remarkable study in engineering. We think for the food, we think for the hands prepared, and that's what we use for the nourishment of our bodies. Amen. 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 I might go both ways. Nearly every task requires ingenuity. I can't say there's anything that I can't do. I don't. I don't know that there's a whole lot in life, period, that I, I could say that I can't do. Just things that I haven't done yet. That attitude carried Richie to his current job at Hendrick. I think I had about 20 resumes that I went through before I settled on Richie's. I knew he could do the things that I needed him to do. It was more a question of how. We've got a few updates that we're making to this fixture to make some of the parts more durable and uh, more adjustable than it is currently. We sat down and he showed me how he works on the computer and how he does his design work. I write with my right hand, you write with your left hand. He happens to write with his feet. Parker's initial internship with Hendrick was supposed to last 10 months. Eight years and five championships later, he's still here. How do you get through your day? Make it from one place to another, one task to the next. Don't ask Richie Parker. He's already moving on down the road. I'm just never satisfied. It's what drives me. I don't know where it comes from. And sometimes it kind of drives me crazy, but that's how I live my life. <laughs>